Welcome back. You're watching Sports Day. Jim Callan with you. Great to have your company. Well, Fight fans are certainly itching to see a Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder rematch, while Tim Zhu has been quite busy ahead of his next fight for all the latest. In and out of the ring, we're joined by boxing expert and commentator Paul Upham. Paul, great to catch up with you yet again. And yet again, we're talking about uh, the heavyweight division for all the right reasons, in particular Tyson Fury. He put on quite the display in the US at the weekend, as expected, just inside two rounds before he knocked uh, over Tom Schwartz. What did you make of, firstly, this as a bout and just where it leaves uh, Tyson Fury now for the next big thing? Well, Tyson Fury did everything he needed to do inside the ring. Of course, that was to get the knockout, the win. And again, he's so impressive. For a guy who's allegedly six foot nine in the old scale, he moves so well, he puts his punches together. And we saw some vision during the fight of the way he was able to avoid the Germans' punches. And, uh, you know, Schwartz was undefeated. He'd never lost before. It was his first big fight. But he looked like a novice in there compared to Tyson Fury. And it just showed you how good Fury is. He says he's the best heavyweight in the world. And when you watch him in this sort of form, the way you were able to knock him out in two rounds, it was so, so impressive. So inside the ring, A plus, a big tick for Tyson Fury. Now, everyone now, of course, wants to see that rematch with Wilder. But we know those things aren't as easy uh, as done in the world of boxing, given promoters generally have a greater say in just what does happen. So what can you tell us? Well, there's a lot of planning as always, and they're taking a risk because back in December, uh, we saw the first fight between Wilder and Fury, one of the best heavyweight fights in recent memory. It was a draw, a split draw. Uh, we actually saw uh, Fury get knocked down twice. The punching powder of Deontay Wilder is irresistible, except against Tyson Fury. 41 wins, 40 knockout wins. This is his only draw, and for him to get off twice, uh, off the canvas was just incredible. That that punch looked like he was knocked out. He climbed up, got up the, the count of eight, was able to beat the count, finish off the fight, it was a draw. And people were saying, let's have the rematch straight away. But hang on, this is boxing. We don't do rematches straight away. We've got to build it up. As much as Tyson Fury is a huge star in the UK, and people love him for the ability to to, to get, overcome adversity. He's talked about that uh, mental health issues he had, and he had three years out of the ring almost because of those mental health issues. As much as he's a big star in the UK and Europe, not as well known in America. So he's elected to come over and have some fights in America, and he's going to have two fights uh, before they have the rematch next year. Now, it's meant to be the first quarter next year between Wilder and Fury. They're both going to fight again now in September. Uh, Wilder's going to have a rematch against Luis Ortiz, the big Cuban who gave him a few problems. It took him 10 rounds to knock him out. Probably one of the toughest fights that Wilder's had. And Fury's going to fight again and in separate bouts, building up the prospect of the rematch. And, of course, we saw Tyson Fury on uh, the weekend. He came out dressed up like Apollo Creed, his tribute to the, the Rocky uh, film star. And he wants to get his name out into America. So when they do have the rematch on pay-per-view next year, it'll be even bigger. So smart business sense. But sometimes when you do that, there's a little problem if somebody loses. So we wait and see with their next fights. Yeah, there's a whole range of snakes and ladders type scenarios, isn't there, in the heavyweight division at the moment. But it's compelling viewing. And uh, certainly we are watching it with great interest.